Okay. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. What is your full name? My full name is Subhash Reddy Gajla. You can call me as Subhash. Where are you from? I am from Hyderabad, which is the capital of Telangana. Do you work or study? I'm a student. I'm currently doing my Bachelor of Technologies with the Computer Science as specification and also preparing for my high studies. Okay, let's talk about movies. Do you like watching movies? I love watching movies. What kind of movies you enjoy? Uh, generally, I like to watch a parody type of movies and also action films. One of the recent films I watched was the Bahubali film. Do you prefer watching movies at home or at cinema? I, I like watching movies at the theater because I can feel the essence of the movie uh, when I watch it in the theater and also the sound system and the visualization uh, that attracts me the most. Is it easy to get to a cinema where you live? Yeah, there are a plethora of theaters available uh, near me so that uh, it's uh, very easy to uh, go to cinema. Have you seen any good film recently? Uh, the last film that I watched was the uh, the recent film, which uh, which was uh, which was done by a, a hero. He recently expired. That is Sushant Singh Rajput, Dil Bechara movie. Uh, that was a really heart touching movie for me. Has your taste in films changed as you have got older? Uh, I think so because um, the way the way of uh, the, the mentality of the people and the and the atmosphere in the society changes uh, uh, go on changes the the movies are also getting uh, changed um, according to the director's view and also the public view. Okay, let's talk about television. How much TV do you watch per day? As I don't get uh, enough time as I will be studying uh, in the college. Whenever I get some downtime, I just watch uh, some YouTube videos on the television, uh, but not uh, any serials or, you know, that's, uh, I don't watch that kind of stuff. Who do you normally watch TV with? I generally watch it uh, with my parents, or uh, I alone watch the movies, or else any, um, or any videos on the internet. Do you have a favorite TV program? No, I watch, uh, I don't have any spe special program, but uh, I watch all kinds of, uh, um, you know, all kinds of things that are available in the internet. What TV programs do you remember from your childhood? I think it's uh, not a program, it's a serial. That's uh, one of my favorite serials from the childhood. It's, uh, it was Amritam uh, serial. Uh, that was playing since my childhood, and uh, it's a very good serial. It's a parody type of a serial, actually. Okay, let's talk about holidays. Are there many public holidays in your country? Yes, there are many holidays uh, in our country, and also we celebrate many festivals. As Indians are, uh, um, you know, they are more, uh, they respect every religion, so we have many festivals like Dasra, Diwali, every month uh, or the other we have uh, some festival. So, we have to. Do you think there are enough public holidays? Yes, there are uh, more than enough, uh, according to my view, because uh, there are many holidays and uh, also um, many holidays every month. Okay. Do you always like to go to the same place for your holidays? No, I don't prefer the same place because uh, I feel bored watching the same thing. So I keep on changing uh, the, the vacations. When I get some time, I usually go to the place where it's a very greenery and also uh, which looks attractive. Where would you like to go for your next holiday? I would like to go to Vizac, uh, which is located uh, 600 kilometers from my city. It's, uh, mm, it's, uh, it's in the Andhra Pradesh. Uh, the famous hill station there was the Araku, which uh, which was called as um, it's 
beauty of uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh. I really okay. enjoy looking at it. Okay. Let's talk about your family. Do you have a small or large family? I have a small family and I'm the only child in the family. We are, we are of three, me, my mother and father. That. What do you enjoy doing with your family at weekends? I usually watch movies, uh, movies in the theater with my family or just go on a vacation or, or just go to a long uh, drive with my family to the hill, uh, uh, to some greenery spot or else uh, any temples which are my favorite. Were your parents strict when you were a child? No, they were not. They were uh, very friendly with me uh, when I was a child. How often do you have family get together? I think uh, um, once in three, three to four years, I think so. I, the last time I remember was uh, when I was in my 12th grade. Okay, now I will give you a two minute topic. You will have one minute to prepare on that topic and you have to speak for one to two minutes. Here is your cue card. Talk about a time when you were in a crowded place. Please say where and when it happened, who was there with you, what you did there, how you felt in that environment. You have one minute. Can I start now? Yes. I have plethora of such experiences, but uh, among them, I remember the, mo the most uh, that, is, that happened to me in my, when I was in my 10th grade. That was the Nampali exhibition. That was a famous exhibition in Hyderabad. Everyone knows about it. Uh, uh, I went I, every year. Uh, I will be going there. It will generally it will be on the month of uh, January, January, and it lasts for two to three months. So uh, I enjoyed a lot there. Uh, I went with my parents and also friends. Um, uh, when I went there. Uh, due to the crowded place, I went missing there. So uh, my parents were in a hurry. So I went missing. So I went to the uh, announcement center so that uh, my parents could reach me. Uh, that was okay. Uh, that was not uh, no tension. Uh, and uh, I enjoyed a lot there. After that, I, I took care after that incident. I never left my parents after that. In fact, that's a good lesson for me. And uh, we enjoy a lot there. There are many uh, stalls and also uh, the rides, which we enjoy a lot. And also um, exhibits from all over India uh, come there show, to show their exhibits. And also many of the households available there. Uh, I enjoy seeing them. And also that was a good time uh, that I last remember. Okay, now I will ask you a few questions related to this topic. Do you like being in crowded places? No, I don't think so because uh, anything may happen because of this. Uh, take example for this pandemic situation, the virus, and also uh, especially children, and they will be um, they will be afraid of uh, this crowd. Why do people go to crowded places? They generally don't go to uh, crowded places. It, it becomes uh, crowded when there is any occasion in the temples or else uh, is there any festivals or any, uh, take example for this Ganesh immersion, which uh, took place. Uh, so it, it may become, sometimes it may become. Do children love going there? No, I don't think so because they were afraid of uh, such sounds and also the disturbances going on there. So they won't uh, leave their parents, especially. So I don't think so. What are some crowded places in your area? I think they are the, they are the temples, especially. And also if there is any uh, party meetings or any political meetings, and also if, they, if there are any rallies on the bikes, generally it becomes crowded. And it becomes uh, hard for people to travel in the road. What changes can you observe in people's behavior when they are in crowded places? They generally lose their patience and also 
uh, there is very uh, sweaty environment uh, um, around the place and also um, anything may happen in that crowd so uh, they they may feel somewhat suffocated being there do you think industrialization is a cause for environmental problems up to some extent it is true but uh, i don't think that is the only problem do we really need industrialization if yes to what extent as we are developing country it needs to we need to have some, uh, some industrialization because we are uh, we are right now we are down of economy so we have to love, uh, uplift our economy so it is important but not but up to some up to some extent it is important but that that the uh, that is not only the major reason according to my view all right this is the end of your speaking thank you thank you